Hi, my name is Georgios Kalergis and I'm a PhD student in the Department of Computational Biology of Infection Research at Helmholtz Center for Infection Research in Germany. I will present your computational model, CHEMLM, a language-based approach for molecular property prediction. Drug development process is a long, expensive and high-risk procedure. More than 10 years and $1 billion are required to develop a single drug. In addition, the failure rate is 90% in the first clinical phase, which gets even higher if we consider all the other drugs that had to be eliminated in the early stages of drug development. Hence the question arises how can we make this process less time-consuming and more successful? The answer is to use computational models in key stages to predict the properties and the potential of compounds. Our objective is to develop a deep learning model that will be able to contribute to the drug development process. To do that, we need to make sure that it achieves high performance in molecular property prediction. Thus, we need to compare it in evaluation datasets against state-of-the-art models. Moreover, we need to find out if it can be used in experimental datasets and predict accurately their chemical properties. Last but not least, it has to be able to capture the chemical information of the molecules and map it in a meaningful way. To achieve that, we utilize language modeling. According to Chomsky, language is a set of sentences with finite length and constructed out of a finite set of symbols. Based on this definition, we consider smiles as a chemical language that comprises specific symbols that has its own syntax. Smiles stands for simplified molecular input line entry system and is a string representation of the molecule. In this example, there is a structure of aspirin and its smiles. We can see that it represents the atom of oxygen using letter O, for instance. As a result, we have developed a computational approach that is called CHEMLM and is based on the following workflow on processing a molecule. At first, we use as input the smiles, the string representation of the compound that we saw earlier. This gets tokenized by byte-level byte pair encoding tokenizer that have trained on millions of smiles. It is required to extract meaningful tokens of the molecules. byte pair encoding algorithm operates by iteratively replacing the most common pair of consecutive symbols with one out of the data. We add some extra tokens that indicate the start and the end of the sequence for its processing by the model. The model we have chosen is Roberta, a transformers model. Transformers is a deep learning architecture that is widely used in language processing and it was firstly introduced by Vazwani. Since then, many models have been developed, one of which is Roberta, an improvement of BERT. Having trained the model, we are able to make predictions on physicochemical properties of molecules, such as toxicity. We use three datasets to evaluate our approach. The first one, BASE, has molecules that inhibit the enzyme beta secretase 1. The second is blood brain barrier penetration dataset, which contains compounds that are able to penetrate this barrier. The last one, ClinTox, comprises toxic compounds and is the most imbalanced dataset that we examine. We compare our model with other state of the art approaches and more specifically with graph neural networks that we developed with DeepChem Library. The first model is Message Passing Neural Network, the second one Graph Attention Network, and the third Graph Convolutional Network. In the rest columns we have the evaluation datasets. The evaluation metric is a found score and the reported score is on the test dataset. Our model performs much better than the other state-of-the-art methods in these tasks. It is better by 5% in base dataset and even better in the Clintox one. We compare our model to state-of-the-art models in experimental data too. We have almost 220 compounds from a dataset with five structural classes designed for pseudomonas ruginosa. We use hierarchical clustering to group similar compounds to provide a fair comparison without leaking information to the model. Thus, we have five clusters on which we perform five-fold validation. Our task is to predict whether it inhibits or not this target. Results indicate that ChemLM on the right has superior performance compared to other state-of-the-art models, indicating higher F1 score. 
to evaluate how the model maps the chemical information, we produce the TSNE plots for molecular properties. Each dot in the plot represents a molecule, and deep blue color indicates a higher value in the corresponding property. We examine two properties here. The first one is molecular weight. We observe that smaller values are gathered in the top right corner, whereas higher values are located in the left part forming some clusters. In addition, there is a gradual increase to the values from right to left. The second plot is QED, which is an abbreviation for Quantitative Estimate of Drug Likeness. It is an index that comprises several molecular properties, like the number of hydrogen donors and acceptors, and indicates the drugability of molecules. Lower values are located in the left part and increase as we move to the right part of the figure, where we can see deep blue dots that correspond to molecules with high QED values. In conclusion, we have developed a language processing approach for molecular property prediction. Our model is based on transformers, a deep learning architecture that is ideal for sequence processing. Thanks to that, we are able to outperform other state-of-the-art models in standard evaluation datasets. In addition, we showed that our model performs very well on small datasets of experimental compounds targeting Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Last but not least, we showed that ChemLM encodes the chemical information in a meaningful way. At this point, I would like to thank the co-authors of this poster. First, in my supervisors, Professor McCarthy and Dr. Asgari, and in addition, Behrouz, Dr. Ebding, and Professor Hirsch for their valuable contributions. This project is funded by Laura Sachs and doctoral program, Drug Discovery and Informatics for New Ad Infectives. Thank you for your attention. Please feel free to contact me at my email address.